Hello, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to really quickly convert from an S-Log profile or any other color profile into Rec. 709 in DaVinci Resolve. So let's go. Okay, so as you can see here, we have got a clip loaded up on the timeline. This was recorded in Picture Profile 7 on the Sony A7C. Okay, so once you've head over to the color tab, what you want to do is find the color space transform effect. Drop that onto a node on your clip. And from here, we can start tweaking things. The first thing you'll want to tweak is the input color space. For me, this is the Sony S Gamut 3. This is all dependent on what picture profile you use. And your input gamma, for me, this is S Log 3. But you know, this can work with anything. If you're using a Blackmagic camera, then you'll have the relevant Blackmagic RAW settings to tweak. And that's it. That's, that's literally it. That is how you turn anything from one color space into Rec. 709. Now, if you're not using Rec. 709 on the timeline, then your output color space needs to just be turned to Rec. 709. But for me, I use Rec. 709 on the timeline. So that is that. As you can see here, this piece of footage is now in Rec. 709 format. Granted, this has slightly higher saturation because I have a slightly amended picture profile 7. Now, obviously, this works for multiple different color spaces, but for this specific purpose, we're going to use that as an example. From here, you can go and proceed to color grade as you see fit. Adding some correcting nodes beforehand and some grading nodes afterwards, you can achieve a really pleasing result very, very quickly. All right, that is it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, get subscribed, like the bell to stay up to date for whenever I release a new video. And until the next one, see ya.